to this Monday, January 3rd. Beautiful sunny day, but cold comes with it now. Thank you, Lord, for making us ever mindful of your blessings. Today is the 10th day of the birth of Christ. Out of the silence of the eternity, your word brought life to the world. Out of the silence of the forest, your servant Seraphim spoke words that brought life to a people, and your divine warmth was incarnate in the frozen snows of Russia. Out of the stillness of our devotion, may your word bring life to us. Let us uh, alternate verses from the 68th chapter of Psalms. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. Let them vanish like smoke when the wind drives it away. As the wax melts at the fire, so let they wicked perish in the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. Let them be merry and joyful. Sing to God, sing praises to his name. Exalted him who rides upon the heavens. Yahweh is his name. Rejoice before him. Father of orphans, defender of widows, God in his holy habitation. God gives a solitary at home and brings forth prisoners into freedom. But the rebels shall live in dry places. O God, when you went forth before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook and the skies poured down the rain at the presence of God, the God of Sinai, at the presence of God, the God of Israel. You sent us a graceful rain, O God, for your inheritance, upon your inheritance. You refreshed the land when it was weary. Your people found their home in it. In your goodness, O God, you have made provision for the poor. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of women who bore the tidings. Kings of their armies are fleeing away. The women at home are dividing the spoils. Though you lingered among the sheepfolds, you shall be like a dove whose wings are covered with silver, whose feathers are like green gold. When the Almighty scattered kings, it was like snow falling in Solomon. O mighty mountain, O hill of Bashan, O rugged mountain, O hill of Bashan. What do you do with them be the rugged mountain, the hill which God chose for his resting place? Truly the Lord will dwell there forever. The chariots of God are twenty thousand, even thousands of thousands. The Lord comes in holiness from Sinai. You God up on high and left the captivity captive. You have received gifts even from your enemies, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Blessed be the Lord day by day, the God of our salvation, who bears his burden. He is our God, the God of our salvation. God is the Lord by whom we escape death. God shall crush the head of his enemies and the hairy scalp of those who go on still in their wickedness. The Lord has said, I will bring them back from the shop. I will bring them back from the depths of the sea. That your foot may be dipped in blood, the tongues of your dogs in the blood of your enemies. They see your procession, O God, your procession into the sanctuary, my God and my King. The singers go forth before, the musicians follow after, in the midst of maidens playing upon the hand drums. Bless the God and congregation. Bless the Lord that you that are the fountain of Israel. There is Benjamin, least of the tribes, at the head, the prince, princess of Judah in a company, and the princess of Zebulon and Naphtali. Send forth your strength, O God. Establish, O God, what you have brought for us. Kings shall bring gifts to you, for your temple's sake at Jerusalem. Will you the wild beast of the reeds, and the peoples a herd of wild bulls with its calves? Trample down those who lust after silver, scatter the peoples that delight in war. 
that tribute be brought out of Egypt. Let Ethiopia stretch out her hands to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing praises to the Lord. He rises in the heavens, the ancient heavens. He sends forth his voice, his mighty voice. Ascribe power to God. His majesty is over Israel. His strength is in the skies. How wonderful is God in his holy places. The God of Israel giving strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Ephesians. Ephesians. Now that I affirm and insist on in the Lord, you must no longer live as the Gentiles live in the futility of their minds. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of their ignorance and hardness of heart. They have lost all sensitivity and have abandoned themselves to licentiousness, greedy to precise to practice every kind of impurity. That is not the way you learned Christ, for surely you have heard about him and were taught in him as truth is in Jesus. You were taught to put away your former way of life, your old self corrupt and deluded by its lust, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to clothe yourselves with the new self, created according to the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. So then, putting away falsehood, let all of us speak the truth to our neighbors, for we are members of one another. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and do not make room for the devil. Thieves must give up stealing rather than rather than let them labor and work honestly with their own hands so as to have something to share with the needy. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only what is useful for building up, as there is need, so that your words may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, in which you were marked with a seal for the, for the day of redemption. Put away from, from you all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander, together with all malice, and be kind to one another tenderhearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ has forgiven you. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. I noticed, noticed today on the calendar, um, it's one of those days where nothing happened or no, nobody is observed. And I think there's 50 plus or minus three or four days like that in the calendar. And um, once a, a wonderful uh, priest uh, shared a, a practice that he does, and I've kind of taken it up, and it's when those days come, uh, I'll look inward at myself and hopefully find something that I can be proud of and something that I need to work on. And uh, it is, that's always a challenge and always refreshing. So I offer that for you. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. 
May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples, still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family in God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in time of need or sorrow, sickness, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, and fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise his name. Praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. Today, I like to, to, want to pray for the church, our presiding bishop, Michael Kelly, Michael Curry, the province de Inglas Anglican, the Congo, our bishop, Mark Latine, and his family, in this diocese, St. Thomas Church, Point Hope, in this deanery, St. John's Ketchikan. We pray for those in leadership positions, especially our president, our governor, our mayor, and all elected officials. We pray for the residents of Wildflower Court, the Pioneer Home, the Lemon Creek Correctional Center, the Johnson Youth Center, Family Promise, Haven House, and the Glory Hall, and for the end of the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray especially for Kathleen, Terry, Janice, Janet, Marilyn, Melody, Savannah, Johanna, Jan, Linda, Sandy, Brad and family, David, Mark, Gail, Bruce, Jeffrey, Deborah Ann, and family. Today we honor the life uh, of William Passavant, prophetic witness, uh, died in 1894. He uh, was a Lutheran minister noted for bringing the Lutheran diocese movement to the United States, commemorated in the calendar of the Saints of the Lutheran Church on November 24th with Justice Faulkner and Jehu Jones. Passavant would go on to find many other missions, hospitals, orphanages, orphanages, colleges, seminaries throughout the country. Many of the institutions he founded would later join together to help found the Lutheran State Services in America, the largest church social program in the United States. Compassion God, who raises up ministers among your people, may we ever desire, like your servant William Passavant, to support the work of equipping the saints for service among the sick and the friendless. Through Jesus Christ, the divine physician, who has prepared for us an eternal home, and who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. Eternal light shine into our hearts. Eternal goodness deliver us from evil. Eternal power be our support. Eternal wisdom scatter the darkness of our ignorance. Eternal pity have mercy upon us, that with all our heart and mind and soul and strength, we may seek your face and be brought by your infinite mercy to your holy presence. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless the work 